Hey, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain a script that I wrote today for basically to automate cloning. Uh, basically, if you run this script, so you can clone multiple repositories from a single account or from a multiple account in one go. So recently, uh, I was having some struggle to um, like if I want to clone some repository from GitHub. So I need to go there and need to fetch the uh, GitHub link and then I need to write in my command prompt that git clone and then that link to clone that. And if I, I want to uh, do this same thing for like 10 repositories, then I need to go 10 times and I add the same thing I need to do for 10 times. So that's why I made this script. Uh, so let's start uh, with the explanation of this script. I'm no, I have written this and I'm just going to explain uh, each and every line one by one. So these are some um, requirements that you need in your script. So I have used four Python packages, like the first package is Git Python. Uh, this one uh, you can, if you install Git Python in your uh, project, so you can just simply import Git from Git Python. Then second one is OS. We need some functionalities of OS, so that's why I included this OS. The third one is Pandas. So Pandas, we all know that Pandas are, are is basically a Python package to to do some uh, to data uh, to get some data inside a data frame. It, it provides a data frame uh, to us, and we can use that data frame to ma manipulate our data. So I'm going to use a CSV file in my uh, in my script. So that's why I'm using this Pandas. And there's a pandas SQL uh, package in Python, and that uh, this I am using because I need to do some SQL queries on my um, on my CSV file. So that's why I'm using this pandas SQL. So let's start. <coughs> so this first line df. So I'm making a data frame, and I'm in this data frame. I'm reading a CSV file, and that CSV file name is GitHub Account Details dot CSV. So if you can, if I can show you. Just one second yeah so here you can see I have a CSV file that is having some details uh, basically the source account the source repo and the source branch so these are the three fields I have in my CSV file and the source account is having some source source account name github account name github user user ID and these are the some um, in, in the particular user ID uh, there are multiple repositories so these are the repositories name and these are the branches so I'm using this CSV you can manipulate this CSV if you want and according to your CSV this code will be changed so let's start so <clears throat> so now after reading this data frame uh, after reading the CSV file and copying the CSV into the data frame we have a panda data frame and uh, from that data frame i am having uh, i'm i'm taking a, uh, the source account column that i showed you that uh, we have three columns in that data frame um so i'm taking that source uh, account column in my service accounts and i'm fetching all the unique values from that source account so let's say we have multiple values for like one user like let's say for one um, um, for one user we have 10 repositories so th there will be 10 user accounts so uh, we need just one account so that is why we am taking all the unique values from this source account so after taking this we are uh, just printing a statement that uh, uh, please select a github account from which you want to clone the repositories and then I'm just printing that names from the from that source accounts so all the unique values of the source account will be printed here and the user will will have a information that uh, here there are some repositories and you can pull uh, you can uh, select any of those so after selecting user will select whatever the user will select that input will be go go to this selected account so <coughs> we we have now got a user account after getting the selected account from the user input now we i'm i'm writing a query to select all the source repos from that selected account so this query is very simple select source repo from the data frame where source account is where this column is equal to the source a selected account 
so and this uh, the result will be uh, I'm the I'm taking this the this query result in the selected repo variable so uh, now I'm having a empty list called to clone repos so and after that I'm taking I'm writing a for loop to have all the uh, extracted data whatever we, we got from this uh, um, query in in this empty list so I'm appending all the source repos to this uh, list so now we have got a list which has re repo information and we we already got the source account detail and I'm just counting all the repos so that I can give our information to the user that uh, yes total repositories in the select account are total repo count and this will just print the complete list so that the user get our information yes what I am going to uh, clone in my local so this is permission to clone I'm just having a variable so that the user can give a, um, a permission like yes I want I want to clone this so now I'm, I'm writing a condition if if clone permission is Y or yes or capital yes or small yes so whatever the inputs these four inputs will uh, my my uh, uh, script will take if these inputs are if the permission to clone is equal to these inputs then it will go further so uh, after that uh, I'm writing uh, I'm writing a, a for loop so it will take all the repos from the clone to clone repo so it will just take all the elements from this list that is to clone repo and after that uh, if not os.path.exist so this one is like basically I am writing I am I am creating a folder to that particular uh, that folder name will be that selected account whatever the selected account value will be so that uh, the same in my local that same folder will be created so that my all the details should be go um, all the repos should be go to that folder only so that we have a a, a structure to see why well, yes uh, in, in in which folder uh, we all uh, we got the repositories so this will just make a repository in your local and in that repository in that folder basically in that folder all the repository will be cloned yeah so this will just print a, a statement that yes cloning is in progress so that a user can um, have a look that yes my cloning is in progress and now this is the main thing which you need to look on so basically I'm having this get this get which I have imported and in this get we have another get so git dot get and this is like the selected account so selected account it will just create the like it is the target location so uh, we have already created the uh, the folder in local using this statement so this will be the target location and this will be the input location so I'm writing like this is hard coded https colon uh, forward slash slash then github.com this is hard coded because this will be same for all the links and I'm creating link that uh, after that after this forward slash we should have the selected account and then after again a forward slash and then we should have the repo name and then I'm appending a dot git file because these all will be a dot git folder so this will create the um, the link to clone and after cloning this we will get a pop-up that yes a uh, clone successful so this for loop will will clone all the repos whatever we have in this list so let's just run this code yeah so control shift f10 so after running this code you can see it is uh, giving us a uh, e uh, information that please select a github account from which you want to clone the repository so we have several repositories so let's uh, take this one gmono so we, s we need to just write the uh, account user account so user account is gmono and total repositories in gmono are six and the, the here are the repositories name so uh, it is asking for permission to clone so let's give a y and now you can see 
the first repository name is my calculator so now this calculator cloning is in progress then clone successful then second is find maximum number uh, and minimum value in java then cloning is process in progress and then clone successful then same goes for the third one then fourth one then the fifth one so it is basically a automation to clone all the repositories so now we we need to just uh, manipulate our csv and according to the manipulation according to the data in csv our code will be work so that's it um it is just a use case if you like this video and if you like this script so just like this video and uh, yeah and if you haven't subscribed my channel so just subscribe it and we'll uh, we'll again meet in the next video thank you so much